What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing a ghost from Call of Duty. Let's begin in the center of our page at the top edge of the glasses. Starting right in the middle, I'm gonna start with a straight line going across from left to right. Let's go to the left side. We're gonna curve the glasses going up and then we'll bend that down on the left. Go over towards right and do the same thing. Going up and then down. Let's go back to the center. We're gonna step down and add a curve. Going up and then down. Now going back to the left side, we're gonna curve the glasses. Coming down towards the bottom, round this out, and then just pull that up on the inside. Now let's trace the inside of the frame. Starting from the top left, step down, curve this up, and then down on the inside. And it'll trace out the bottom. Let's add a glare on the left side of the glasses. On the top left, we're gonna step in, curve down, and then across, go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Let's draw the bottom half of the head tucked in underneath the glasses. Starting on the left, just gonna curve this down, pull that in towards the middle, bend this out, and then go up on the right side. And then going back up to the top, starting on the left, we're gonna curve the mask going up and then down. Let's add in the nose. Starting right in the middle, start with a point. Curve the nose going out and then down toward the left. Go back to the center, go out and then down towards the right. From the bottom, we're gonna angle down and in with a short line. And then pull that up and in towards the center point. Let's fill the nose area in black. Let's draw the top edge of the skull. Starting on the left side of the head, curve this in and then down. Line this up on the right, going up and then out. And then from the inside, draw a straight angle line coming down and in towards the edge of the teeth. Now to connect the bottom with a curve, coming down and then back up. Let's go back to the outside, step in, curve the jaw coming down and then in towards the bottom on both sides. And it'll fill that outside area in black. Now we go back to the center and draw the top row of teeth. Starting right in the middle, I'm just gonna curve this up and then back down on the left. Go back to the center, do the same thing on the right. Let's add a couple more teeth on either side. Going up and then down. Add one more. Add two on the right. And I'll move down and draw the bottom row of teeth. Starting back in the middle, curve down and then up. And we'll add a couple more on either side. Now I'm going to go back and add a fold along the inside edge of the glasses. Starting on the left, curve down and then bend that out. Let's go back up above the glass and draw the edge of the mask. Starting on the left side, curve this up and then bend that down. Line this up on the right, going up and then down. Go back to the inside, connect the ends with a curve, coming down and then back up. Now we're going to move out and draw the lower half of the head. From the top of the glasses, we're going to step out and trace the head, coming down and just pull that in towards the middle. Bend this back out and then up along the right side. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and draw on the top of the head. Starting up here, go straight up and then bend that in towards the middle. So I'm going to round up the head, go across and then down on the right side. And we'll add a trim along the inside of the hood. Starting back on the left, curve this up. Bend that down. I'm going to line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going up 
and then down toward the side of the head. And it'll connect the inside with another curve, coming down the middle and then back up. Let's add that seam coming down the center, starting from the very top, a straight line coming all the way down toward the edge of the mask. Let's go out to the side and add in the headphones. Starting from the top left, draw a straight line going out. Line this up on the right. Now we come down toward the bottom, draw another straight line going out. And again, lining this up on the right side. Let's connect the top and bottom with a curve. And bend this out and back in. Now you want to connect the top corners of the headphones with another curve going up above the head and in towards the middle, bend this out and then back down on the right. Let's go back to the left side, we're going to step up, draw a short angle line coming down and in and then from the top we'll step in, just follow that same curve coming back down. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw the upper body. Starting over on the left side, put the body going out and then down. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. And draw a straight line going across. On the left side, we're going to step out. Draw that straight line going all the way across towards the right. And then from the ends, draw a straight line coming down towards the waist. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's add some detail to the upper body. On the top left, we're going to step in, curve the collar coming down, and then back up. And then from the center, curve down and out toward the left. And then we'll add in the shoulder straps. We're going to step in underneath the collar, curve out, and then down. Let's add a buckle in the center of each strap. Starting on the left, draw a straight line coming in, and then the bottom. Go to the center underneath the collar, draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to add those pouches in the center of this area, leaving a gap in the middle, go to the left side, draw a straight line coming down, go to the right, do the same thing, and then split the outside area in half. Let's go back to the left side, draw a straight line coming in, now from the center we're going to step up. Draw another line going across. Now we'll add two flaps on the right side. Curve down and up. Do the same thing on the outside. Now we'll add two small circles along the bottom for a button. Now we're going to continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. From the center, we'll step down and add a curve. From left to right, going up and then down. And then leaving a gap in the center, let's go to the left side. Curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, we're going to curl the foot coming down and then up and do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and round out the top of the foot. Starting from the outside, curve up, just going to bend this down aiming towards the heel, we're going to leave a gap on the inside. And we'll go back up to the top. From this corner, we'll step in, curve the leg going out, and then down on top of the foot. Let's add some detail to the leg. Starting with a thick sole along the bottom of the feet, we take this curve, step up, and just trace that across towards the heel. And then going back to the top of the foot, we'll step up, curve down, and then up. Line this up on the right side. Let's go to the center of the boot cuff, draw a straight line going up on either side, and then go straight out towards the side of the leg. Let's add a strap. From the inside corner, step down. I'm just going to follow that same curve coming in towards the inside of the leg. I'm also going to add another pouch on the side of the body. Starting on the left, draw a straight line going out left and right, straight down the side, and 
we'll pull that back in towards the side of the leg. Now we're going to move up to the left side and draw the arm holding a small rifle. From the top of the body, step out, curve the arm coming down, and then out towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're going to curl the thumb, going up and then down. Round up the tip of the thumb, and then pull that back up. Let's add the edge of the palm. Curve down, and then hook that in. Now we're going to add three fingers along the outside. Let's start from the outside of the thumb, we're we'll drawing an oval. Going around, and then back in. And we'll tuck two more fingers underneath. Starting along the bottom, curve around and up underneath the thumb. Step down and draw that again. Let's add the bottom of the handle underneath this finger. Start with two straight lines coming down. Close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's go to the top finger. Draw a straight line coming down and out. Flatten off the end. I'm just going to pull that back in on top of the thumb. And then pull that straight down. Let's add that trigger around the top finger. We step out, curve around, and then in. And then from the bottom corner, curve down and out. Flatten off the end with a straight angle line. And we'll follow that same curve coming back in and then up. Let's go out to the side and add in the muzzle. From the top corner, we'll step down, draw a straight line going out. From the bottom corner, we'll step up, draw another line, and we'll close off the end. Let's go back to the top of the thumb, draw a straight angle line coming in towards the arm, go straight up towards the top, angle this down towards the top right corner. And we'll add a small sight on the left side. From the top corner, step in, go up, in, and then back down. Now we're going to go back and finish off the arm. Start from the inside of the handle, curve the palm coming in, and then up. Step down, curve the arm coming in and up behind the body. Let's go to the top of the wrist, step in, draw the edge of the glove, curving in, and then back out. Let's line up the inside of the arm all the way over on the right side, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle for the thumb, close off the end with a bracket. Let's curl three fingers around the bottom, starting underneath the thumb, come down, bend that back up around that bracket, step down, go out, and then up. And then the third finger, we're going to go out, bend the arm coming up and in underneath the head. And then going back to the top of the thumb, step up, curve the glove going up and out. Let's add a seam across the top of the shoulders, starting from the left side of that strap, curve up and then out. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now add a small patch on the right side. Come down with an angled line, flatten off the end, go back up and out. And that's pretty much it. There's our ghost from Call of Duty. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.